Hey, this is uh, Corey and Eric. We're coming to you live from PRI 2019. Uh, we have some cool products that we we're excited about and want to share with you guys. <clears throat> uh, everybody's been using tip, uh, typically nowadays uh, as a replacement part for their Duramax filters, the cap filter with an adapter. And Hey, yeah, this is Fabian. I'm hanging out here with Corey Maka, and uh, they have a new product that just uh, came up with. It's the new PPE Pacific Performance Engineering, so we can get that correct. Um, filter for the engine, oil filter, and a Allison spin-off filter too, which is a double capacity. And I actually just I wanted to ask Corey a couple questions. What uh, what made you guys want to do this, man? Well, we saw a problem with um, the only option available on the market right now for increasing your oil filtration on your Duramax. And that is a cat filter with an adapter. So a lot of people are using the cat filters all the time. Yeah, it seems like that's the, the, the way to go right now. That's the only option you have. And there are some specific drawbacks to that that I think a lot of people aren't aware of. Which, tell, us, tell us more about that which um, one of the biggest ones that we saw was that not only does it not fit directly, which is kind of a pain, but the second thing is that the, the application in which the cat filter was designed to work in is in engines and heavy equipment that has a check, uh, backflow check valve incorporated into the engine system itself. The Duramax engine was developed with the filter to have the check flow valve in the filter itself. So when you apply the cat filter in this application, you are allowing oil to drain back from your motor into the lower cavities of your of your oil system. And that's gonna drain your oil galleys, your camshaft, uh, could join your bearings. Um, so that's, that's one of the biggest things that people aren't aware of when they buy that cat filter. So you're telling me that uh, kind of I understand is it's gonna be a dry start. Exactly. Yeah, you're pretty much, every time you turn your motor off, depending on the duration of time that it's off, you are, the longer you let it sit, the, the higher the chance are that you're, you're metal on metal contact when you start your motor until the oil pump can fill all of that volume back up in the motor. Oh, it looks like we're in for a treat. We might be getting our ears. You, I, I'm going to go. <laughs> this is pretty neat. Here, maybe we'll get up close up here while we're starting. My ears are definitely ringing. <laughs> That's pretty neat. You get a kick out of that every time, don't you? Absolutely. That's what yeah. it's for. That's what it's for. Well, I meaning the cat filter is an amazing filter, but you've uh, you guys have taken it to another step higher than that. Yeah, it is. It, the cat filter is an amazing filter for the application, for the correct application that it should be using. Um, adapting it to the Duramax engine is not the correct application. So that's why you guys created your own filter uh, with a check valve uh, drawback and everything so that you don't have dry starts and stuff like that. Exactly. And there's a, there's a couple of other, other aspects too. Um, one of them being that uh, there is no uh, oil bypass valve in it. Um, so when your filter gets clogged, if it does, um, over time, you're, there's a bypass valve incorporated into factory filters that allow oil to continue to get into your motor when it can't get through the media. Um, we've increased the bypass pressure spring compared to the stock filter so that there's less chance that you will be feeding your motor with contaminated oil. So that, that's just an emergency situation if your, if your filter media ever becomes that clogged. Now with the increased surface area of the filter, the 
filter media that we've we have, there's a very very less or there's a there's a lot lower chance that it will ever become clogged in between regular oil change intervals. That's that's pretty uh, incredible. Now tell me a little bit more. Uh, you know, obviously the guys are listening right now or you know watching this. They're cat guys, big time. What is the Micron, uh, your new filter compared to the, the cat filter? So the cat filter is rated at 20 microns, r roughly, and um, our filter goes down to five microns. Oh, that's a huge difference. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now, my favorite part about this whole thing is the fact that it spins on. Maybe we can have Eric try to see if he can spin that cat filter. <laughs> you know, so they, they actually can see. Uh, so that's the cat filter right there, and you can see the hole. And uh, yeah, absolutely, it's not going to spin on. So the the one that you guys have it will spin correctly. Yeah, it's the same thread size as a factory oil filter housing. That that is uh, that right there will save me tons of money, and obviously I, I want to be able to increase my oil capacity. What's the cost of the filter approximately? Uh, so right now, uh, retail is around forty dollars per filter. Awesome. And uh, we can pick that up from your website or? Currently, the way to get one of our filters, uh, I would recommend going to ppdiesel.com or ppower.com. And the part number is 11400 550. Corey, we appreciate you uh, sharing with us this new, uh, new technology and new product that you guys have uh, evolved on the PPE. And looking forward, I, I think uh, all the guys are going to love this and uh, absolutely appreciate your time. Hey, I appreciate your time, Fabian. Thanks for coming by.